Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go and show you how to set up GitHub to work with Unreal Engine 4. Um, the point of GitHub is basically so that you can store your Unreal projects in the cloud um, and then you can have multiple collaborators that can work on the same project with you. You can make changes, you can work on the same project at the same time, you can upload all the work you've done and download all the work that your um, coworkers have done. So ideally it's pretty cool, but it's a bit um, tricky sometimes, so here we go. Um, first thing is to go to github.com and sign up right here. You just need an account. Um, then you're going to want to go to git-scm.com and I'll post all the links here in the, in the description. And go ahead and download right here where it says download for Windows. Make sure you make note of where you install that because you're going to have to tell Unreal where this is. This is basically the the actual program that's going to be running, so you're going to need to know where it is. It, it generally goes, I'll show you where it generally goes, but just keep that in mind. After you have that installed, go ahead and go to desktop.github.com and download the desktop client. It'll look something like this. It'll make it a lot easier to work with. Instead of running command codes, you can actually look at it and press buttons. So. I recommend getting this too. Uh, so let's let's jump into how to set it up with Unreal. Uh, once you've signed up for GitHub, got the actual Git-SCM software, and got the desktop client, then you can go ahead and open any Unreal project you want. Um, this is just a basic empty template, um, just for demo purposes. Uh, you can see up here, this is what we're going to be looking at, is source control. Uh, there's a red line through it says source control is disabled. If we click that we can say connect to source control and under provider we will choose git and it's still in beta so that's why it is a little bit buggy occasionally. Um, it will probably recognize where your git um, is installed but if it doesn't then you have to remember where you installed it and remember that is for the git-scm file that you downloaded. But hopefully it'll just know where you found it. Mine happens to be in the D drive because I have too many hard drives. But also, if you've signed up to get uh, GitHub.com and all that, your username and email should come in automatically. Um, and then after that, just press Initialize Project with Git and Accept Settings, and it'll say down here Connection to Source Control was successful. We have a green up and down arrow going on here and when you're whenever you make changes you can go and press submit to source control and I'll check for anything you've changed and submit them as changes so it'll show you here this none of this has been changed yet because it's all brand new you have to give it a description so like first uh, push they call it a push when you push the um, data online and you call it a pull when you grab somebody else's um, files from GitHub. Okay, so it says committed, first push. That's good. Then we can go ahead and go and open up GitHub Desktop, which you already downloaded. And now we can go to File, Add Local Repository, and then find the repository you're working with. Um, the default for Unreal is un under Documents, Unreal Projects. Find your um, project you're working on, press Select, Add Repository, and press Publish. It'll show you right here that's writing objects, it's pushing everything through. If there's no errors yet, that's a good sign. One thing I forgot to do was uncheck this. If you're if you're sharing it with other people, you want to uncheck this so the code is public. Um, this will take a while, so I'll go ahead and skip to what it'll look like on the GitHub website itself. So if you go into GitHub.com, you'll see that it is now um, inputting the repository for that demo project that I just set up. It's taking its time. Nothing's showing up. All your different folders. In order to share it with your um, co-collaborators, you just go to Settings, 
collaborators and then add their name in here, their username for GitHub. And that's about it. Um, so once your project does come through, it should be done about now. If I go back to code, it'll show you here we got first push, that's what I called my commit, which was three minutes ago. Um, and then these are the only files it really has because it's just an empty Unreal project. And as they are changed, it'll show you which commit or um, what the title of each commit is here and who did it if you have collaborators. Um, one thing I would recommend is, is using branches. So currently, if you go into branches here, there's just the master branch. If you're actually, if you're in the GitHub desktop, you can click right here where it says current branch master and um, you know add a new branch for each uh, member of your team. So then if they say new branch, create branch, publish the branch, that gives them basically their own kind of route into the main project instead of overwriting the actual master file. So when somebody makes a change in Unreal, the, the process is to go, uh, if you move something like this, then you go submit source control up here. Oh, I guess you'd have to actually drop something in. See if I can find, I don't have anything really. So if I drop that in there. Oh, this. That's something I can submit to source control. I guess maybe that doesn't count as an asset. Let's see. If I build the lighting and then save the level, any kind of actual changes that you make to the file systems should override it. If we save the level, that should also change everything. So when we submit this to source control, there is some changes. It's the lightning data and the map I was working on. Call it whatever you want. These are basically the steps you go through every time you want to submit something through source control once you're already connected. So submitted right here, committed that uh, change. Go back to the uh, GitHub desktop and commit any changes to the branch and then press push origin. And that'll push any changes you've made through to the master. Um, whoever's in charge of the actual repository is what it's called. will have to confirm your changes in order for it to merge with the master branch. But that will be the team leads problem or responsibility, I guess is a better word. Um, any other changes that your other teammates might make, you can press fetch origin and it'll grab any other changes they may have made and it'll show up right in Unreal. Uh, so that's the gist of it. Hopefully it's not too complicated. If you have any questions, um, leave it in the comments. And I hope that was helpful. Thanks.